Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So we are doing the weekly oracle card guidance and this week we're using the Fallen Angel oracle cards. We have three options as usual. It's option one, two and three. Please go ahead and make your selection and you can find the timestamp down below. I'd like to also say thank you to all of you who are regular and who come to you uh, the readings and who offer your support and your comments are always lovely to read. Thank you very much. Okay, so on to the reading. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, we're asking what is our weekly oracle guidance? What is it that we need to know right now? I'm going to go with this card here. And we have Stolas, the number 69, and the card is called recuperation. I would like to say that one of the things that this card actually brings about, or what it's um, suggesting to me, is that you look back at the moon cycles as it's been for the last three to four months, and you look at your energy levels according to the different moon cycles. So during the new moon, during the full moon, at the first quarter and at the third quarter and see what has been the pattern because what this card is saying is that there's going to be some kind of pattern that forms and there's some kind of information in there for you uh, which will be able to tell you more about your energy levels about your physical well-being and about your your emotional and mental state this card as stated obviously talks about recuperation and talks about regaining what you've lost so the time ahead for you is a time in which you will regain a lot that you've lost or things that you've left behind things that you may have started but you've put on pause uh, things that you may have begun I would say last year around October November or so and um or it could be at any other time as well, that that's one of the messages that I'm getting here. And it would be time for you to actually consider completing some of these things. Consider breaking out of your daily routine to be able to do something that's different. Perhaps lie in bed a little longer or read a bit more or do something that is worth your while, that includes more time for relaxation and more time to recuperate, to bring yourself to recover, to bring yourself to a better state, to bring yourself into a space of calm. So one of the messages here is that if you've been pushing too hard, if you've been trying too hard to do too much, if you've been overly challenged, even though you may have stopped being challenged, even though you may be taking a break, this break is just a mental break. And what you need to do is bring your body into that state of rest as well. You need to let every cell in your body know that you are in that state of rest. And that is the only time that you're going to be able to recuperate or recover. The other message I'm hearing here is that whereas it may normally be the pattern of um, shrouding yourself, keeping yourself away from masses or the crowd or, or just the outdoors when you are recuperating here, the sunshine and um, and getting out or being able to interact with others is advised. So I know that many of you are still in uh, isolation or in various phases of lockdown. And uh, this message is obviously not asking you to break the law in any way, but simply to uh, seek the light or seek the sunshine or seek a lighter energy. This card talks about also knowing when the time is right to be able to do that, knowing when the time is right to be able to step out. And if you're feeling that you need time just by yourself to recover, time to go inward, time to actually repair yourself, then by all means, take that time. But there is going to be a moment when it will be ready for you to step out. And it is important for you to be able to discern that it's important for you to be able to know when it is time to step out of that uh, state the other message here is that um, as much as you can get involved in doing something or um, be on, in a certain cycle uh, where you are uh, pushing for something you can also get very absorbed or locked down into a state of inertia where you're not able to move forth where you're not able to bring yourself outside of a space of recuperation and so therefore it is important for you to know when it is time to be able to step out of that and how to be able to do that so consider 
right now how you will be able to do that. Perhaps it's taking a walk in the sunshine. Perhaps it's sunbathing. Perhaps it's simply going outdoors or visiting a park or doing something like this. The other message here is that you have the um, the right to, or the, the knowledge to be able to do so. You have the you have complete control over yourself to be able to effect these changes. You can ground to a halt or you can move ahead and at the pace at which you desire. So recognize that you have the power to be able to do this and you can actually move things along as you wish or not move things along at all. This card also talks about knowing when the time is right to step into the shadows and knowing what to leave into the shadows and knowing what it is that needs to be recognized or what it is that needs to be open. This card is very much about discernment and knowing when it is to be able to to do those things, when it is to be able to feel from your core what is necessary for you and how it is that you're going to continue and what it is that you're going to be doing. I'm hearing here also that it's important to be aware of the cycles of the moon. The cycles of the moon are very um, telling. They have a lot of wisdom in it. And for you specifically at this point, especially for the next few weeks, like up to about five weeks or so, that you need to follow uh, your rhythm. You need to be able to respect that rhythm. So whatever your rhythms are, whatever your cycles are, it's to be able to work with that and respect that and not pull away from it or push push it away from you or deny it, but rather to succumb to it. So I feel drawn to actually look into the book and to read you the message from there today. And I see that um, the card is actually, it's the word is, it's not stolas, but it's actually pronounced solas. And uh, the element is water, the planet is Jupiter, and the message is nurture your health and take time out to reflect on the course of your life. Totem bird of this angel is the owl, which relates to her, to Athena and Minerva, goddesses of poetry, wisdom, the arts and magic. Stolas or Solas is particularly a patron of astrology and other forms of divination, and she inspires those who follow these practices to cultivate the art of teasing out their hidden messages. She also teaches about the healing properties of herbs and the virtues of crystals, having been the tutelary spirit of wise women throughout the ages. I hope that message has actually helped you to uh, tap into what it is that you need to know in terms of the week ahead. Um, I feel that this card once again talks about several weeks ahead, not just this week ahead for some of you, for most of you. And I think that um, it's really important to to work with the rhythms once I, once again, uh, with the rhythms of the earth, with the rhythms of the moon, and uh, to be able to be in tune with that. And if you need to or if you feel drawn to working with crystals during this time or herbs then go ahead and do that and cultivate your interest further all right so i'm going to leave that message there and i'm wishing you a wonderful week ahead may you all be safe and healthy and stay blessed thank you so for those of you who've chosen the second option here we are asking what is our oracle guidance for this week what is the oracle guidance for this week and we have Morax. The card is number 15 and it's leadership. So this card is in fact a lucky card and what it talks about is taking charge, taking leadership, assuming the leadership role when others are not able to and being lucky with that, being able to achieve what it is that you put forth and where it is that you want to go to with it. It talks about being lucky where when no one else is. It talks about being able to put forth what it is that you desire and what it is that you need and be able to reach conclusions with that regardless of what others think or what the circumstances may may seem or how the circumstances may appear. It talks about assuming a, a leadership role amidst a, a time of crisis and amidst a time of uncertainty. It also talks about knowing when the time is right to be able to do that. So it, it actually asks you to, to be aware of the timing of, of it all and recognize that it comes in cycles. It is not always the time to, to lead. It is not always the time for everyone to lead. It comes in cycles and right now it's the beginning of your cycle. So where is it that you need to take a, a leadership role or where it is that a leadership role 
that you assume would actually benefit others. I would say that this card um, is relevant for about five, four to five weeks. Yeah, four to five weeks, taking the role of leadership, moving ahead, pushing yourself forth and making things happen are actually your forte at the moment. So don't hesitate to take action. Don't hesitate to speak out loud and do not hesitate to say what it is that you mean or say what it is that you desire because there is a very good chance that what it is that you want to say or what it is that you would like to have others hear is actually going to propel you forward at this moment. There's also a message here where it it's almost as if your stubbornness or any kind of um, determination that you have is actually going to be to your advantage. So do not berate yourself for being stubborn or for being overly focused on what it is that you desire. That's not going to be harmful to you at this moment. It's okay to put all your forces behind one thing right now and go with that. I get the feeling that some of you are not really feeling this and that you're not really at that point yet where you feel that you can take action. But this is not necessarily going to be at this moment that you're listening to this. This can be something that brews itself into being and can actually be ripe a couple of weeks down the line. The message here once again is that it's the beginning of a cycle, the beginning of the cycle of leadership for you, where what it is that you would like to have or what it is that you desire can actually be brought into fruition. I feel like reading um, an excerpt from, from the book that comes with this for you today. I'm just going to find it quickly. It says here that 15, Morax, has the element air and the planet Mars. The message is take control of events and they will work to your advantage. Morax's symbol is the bull, which in Christian iconography usually indicates the gospel author Luke. In astrology, Morax's sign is the mighty Taurus, and it so happens that Morax is a patron of astrology and all other forms of divination. This is a lucky card, and it tells you to take notice of the others that surround it, because they will show you what you must do. There is a pattern to life that is often only clear later, but if you can grasp your opportunity when it presents itself, you can steer events into the course of your choice. So that's very much what I'm feeling as well. And actually the book is able to articulate that a lot better than I am today. I very often feel that it's necessary to channel messages and um, that there's more to the, the card than, than what is written in the book and therefore I channel messages for you. But today I feel like the book and the cards have very much a similar message that it's time to actually allow that leadership to to fall into action and also to recognize that this is over several weeks it's over several weeks and it's going to actually be there along the line also sometime in mid-june or so it's necessary to recognize that this is a cycle and that it will come to an end and this will change and that you are the top of this the circle right now and that you are beginning your new cycle. So that was your message for today. I hope that's actually helped you and it's actually helped you know what you need to be doing in the next few weeks for yourself. I feel that some of you may not be very clear with this message or not know exactly what is meant, but I think that this will come to fruition later on. You will know what this message means as time goes by. All right, I thank all of you for coming by and I wish you all very well. May you be safe, healthy and blessed. Thank you. So for those of you who've chosen the third option here, we are asking, what is it that we need to know as we go along in this week? What is our guidance in this week? Okay, I feel that it's this card here. So the card is number 66 and the title is Voal and the caption here reads harmony and the first thing I feel inclined to say is that harmony may come in many different forms and may not always look at as or may not always appear in the way in which you expect it to appear harmony doesn't always have the same look it doesn't always wear the same robe it can form itself in many different ways 
And the key to harmony is to be able to see it when it's there. I feel also right now that uh, several elements, be they astrological or whatever elements they are, earthly elements, are aligning itself right now to be able to support this harmony. They're able to bring this harmony about you and one does not need to fear in this time. It's necessary to be able to have faith during this time and regardless of any feeling of discomfort, regardless of any path that you must take that's a, a worn path, it is necessary to have faith and to know where you're going to and to know that you're supported and that you are, that you have, somebody has your back. This somebody could be whatever you believe in. It could be something from your faith. It could be a p member of your family. It could be a friend. It could be an institution. But to know that you have, somebody has your back, something has your back and that things are aligning itself. Things are coming into alignment and it's okay to know that. It's okay to know that even if you do not feel it at this moment and even if you are not sure of it right now, even if it was all that you hoped for, it is okay to hope for it. It is okay to think about it. It is okay to allow that to come into being. This card talks about perfection in nature and how nature may seem chaotic and how it may seem as if it's awry, but in fact, it's working towards a final goal. It's working towards a final destination. And at the end, its sculpture would be perfect. Its carvings would be in harmony. It will be all part of the landscape that is meant to be. And this card is a reminder of that. It's a reminder that everything is as it's meant to be. I'm going to go ahead and read um, the meaning from the, of the card from the book here, as I've done for the other options in this week's reading. So here it says that the pronunciation is Uval or Uval. It has the element water and the planet is Venus. And the message is peace descends, a time for settling old debts and possibly a new romance. So it reads, Uval's totem beast is the dromedary or Arabian camel. And she can, like Payman and Gomery, appear as a princess riding on the back of one of these beasts. Her speciality is to promote love, particularly the love of women for men, and to encourage reconciliation between old enemies or strange friends and family. Yuval also stares interest in divination and other mystical practices, being a channel for the mysteries of ancient Egypt. So that is your message for this week's oracle. I hope that it has been of assistance to you. It has actually guided you as it's intended to. And I hope uh, that you are all doing well. I wish you all a lovely week. And um, may you all be blessed and healthy and well in these times. Sending you all much love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.